Hi everybody, in this video, let's look at simultaneous linear equation. So this time we have two linear equation, each of them has two variable. So we want to find the value of x and y, that which satisfy both equation simultaneously. This means that if we plug in into the first equation, this equation valid. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Not only that, the value of x and y, we can also plug in the second equation. The second equation still valid, means that the left hand side also equal to the left hand side. Now you have learned three methods to solve simultaneous linear equation, right? Elimination method, substitution method, And the last one is graphical method. Normally, we will not prefer using graphical method because it takes time and you need a graph paper. But if the question requests for it, you need to use this method. So no matter we are using elimination method or substitution method, we are actually having the same goal. We want to change the two variable become one variable. Then we only start uh, solving it just like simple linear equation. Since that we have two variable over here, so the answer for the first variable is not correct. It's going to affect the answer for the second variable. Therefore, I would suggest you to use your calculator to get the answer first before you start uh, your calculation. Okay, so how do we enter this simultaneous linear equation mode? Okay, let me exit uh, exit this mode and re-enter again. So press menu, 1. So now it's go back to the normal calculation mode. If I want to enter this simultaneous equation mode, press menu and search for equation using the arrow key. Now, you will notice that you have a letter A over here, right? So you can press enter. Uh, equal to enter this mode. If you don't want to do this way, you can do it another way. Press menu first, then press alpha A. Okay, it will, uh, it will directly go bring you to this mode. Now we are solving simultaneous linear equation. Press 1. Okay, the calculator ask, uh, asking you how many unknown do we have. Now we have two unknown, so just press 2. You will notice that the template for the calculator is x first followed by y and the constant on the right hand side, right? So let's say if you want to use your calculator to help you to check the answer, first you have to rearrange this nicely, x and x, y and y, and constant on the right hand side. If you don't want to put x in front, you want to put y in front, it is okay. But I will not suggest you to do that because it's easier to make mistake. Okay, let me rearrange this one first. Okay, I bring the negative 2x over here, so I copy the y. Copy the y first. Negative 2x, bring, bring it to another side, it becomes plus 2x is equal to 1 negative 3y, 4x bring over here, become negative 4x is equal to negative 5. Now you will notice that this is y in front, this is x in front. So if you want to use this to help you to get the answer, yes you can, but you need to be more careful. Let me show you. So you, if you say nothing here, it means 1, positive 1. So you just key in, you just key in 1, press equal, positive 2, you don't have to key in the plus sign because it's already there. Just press 2, equal 1. Negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Okay, so make sure all the terms key in uh, correctly. Press equal again, x is equal to 3, press equal again, x, uh, y is equal to negative 1. Okay, but the value of x is actually not equal to 3. 
because your the template for your calculator is x in front so the value of x given by your calculator always refer to the first variable because your arrangement is y in front therefore the y is actually equal to 3 not the x the value of y given by your calculator is always referred to the second variable so the value of x is equal to negative 1 this is why I do not suggest you to arrange this way it's better that put the x in front follow the template of your calculator okay now let me write the answer down x is equal to negative 1 y is equal to 3 now we can start our calculation let me show you uh, substitution method first now I'm using substitution method this is the first equation this is the second equation so still remember uh, what I told you just now our goal is to change two variable become one variable so I am going to substitute substitute the first equation into the second equation so negative 3 y I know that y is equal to negative 2x plus 1 so now I don't want to write y but I write negative 2x plus 1 the rest we just copy 4x minus 5 negative 3 y is equal to 4x minus 5 now do you notice that now we don't see any y right all the variable already become uh, x so now it's just like normal linear equation so first let's do some expansion negative negative become positive 3 times 2 you will get 6 negative positive negative so 3 times 1 you get 3 so this is 4x minus 5 next thing we just arrange uh, the x together and the constant and on the side 4x I bring over here let me copy 6x first then minus 4x is equal to negative 5 plus 3 okay this will give us 2x this will give us negative 5 plus 3 you get negative 2 x is equal to negative 2 divided by 2 x is equal to negative 1 so once you get the answer check whether uh, same with the with the answer given by your calculator if this is not correct you don't proceed if you proceed you, you will get the wrong answer also okay since our answer correct now I proceed substitute x equal to negative 1 into you can choose one or two it's totally up to you but normally we will choose uh, the one which easier for us to get the answer so in this situation I will be choosing the first equation y is equal to negative 2x I know the x is equal to negative 1 so this time I don't want to write x I am going to replace the x by negative 1 negative 2 x plus 1 so y is equal to negative negative will give you positive plus 1 y is equal to 3 is our answer correct yes so x is equal to negative 1 y is equal to 3 so if you want to uh, show your teacher's color answer you can write uh, copy again this answer x is equal to negative 1 y is equal to 3 okay so this method we call it substitution method now let me show you another method which is elimination method okay so first let me rearrange this term nicely from the first equation so y plus 2x is equal to 1 okay so this one just let be the third equation negative 3y bring it over here it become minus 4x is equal to negative 5 for equation 
So now it's totally up to you. You want to eliminate y or eliminate x. Both will give you the correct answer if you do it correctly. So how about um, uh, let's try eliminating this y. So if I want to eliminate the variable y, I have to make sure that the coefficient is equal. So positive negative is okay as long as the number is equal. So just ignore about the negative tree. We just look at the tree. This is tree. This is one. Now different, right? So in order to help us to do the elimination method, we have to change this one become three. So I am going to take the third equation times three. You have to understand what do I multiply by three. The reason I multiply by three is because I want to change the one over here become three. Therefore, we can eliminate the variable y easily. So seeing the third equation is multiplied by three, every single term is going to multiply by three. So it will become three y. 6x 3 okay let this one be the fifth equation so this one I will uh, encourage you to copy again underneath this equation so that it's easier for it to proceed negative 3y negative or minus 4x is equal to negative 5 so this one is just copy only now you notice that this is 3, this is 3, so we can eliminate them easily. So how do I eliminate the 3y? I want to plus or minus. So the, if the sign is different, this is positive, this is negative, we will be using plus. If the sign is equal, negative, negative, or positive, positive, we will be uh, using minus. So if you don't want to memorize this way, it's okay. You try to think. Now you see 3y, now you see negative 3y, right? So try to think you have to use plus or minus so that the 3y will become zero so you know right we have to use plus if you use negative 3y minus negative 3y it becomes 6y this is not what we are looking for we want to eliminate the y right so definitely we will not using this one okay plus fifth, uh, fifth equation plus the fourth equation 3y plus negative 3y, it becomes 0y. We have successfully eliminated the y. Now this 6x plus negative 4x. So if you are not really sure, you want to use your calculator, yes, you can do it this way. Key in 6, then key in plus, plus. This one you don't have to key in positive 6. If you want to key in positive 6, it's okay. So plus, okay, negative 4 equal. So you, if you want to put a parenthesis, can. If you don't want to put a parenthesis, okay, your calculator know what to do. So you will get 2, right? So 6, 6x plus negative 4x. So you will get 2x, right? 2x. 3 plus negative 5 you will get negative 2. So x is equal to negative 2 divided by 2. x is equal to negative 1. Yes, I will answer correct. Okay, so for the next step, I think you should be no problem. It's almost it's the same like substitution method. Substitute x is equal to negative 1 into you can choose any equation here. But normally we will be choosing the equation which um, easier for us to proceed. So here I will still be choosing the first equation. y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. So y is equal to, uh, this is 2 plus 1, y is equal to 3. x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 3. Yes, I will answer correct. Okay, this one we call it elimination method. So let's say, if you want to use graphical method, you want to draw the graph. To draw a graph, we just need two points, right? So your calculator actually can help you to do so. Uh, you can just key in, let me re-key in all the 
coefficient nicely fast. Okay, use our arrow key, search for equation. If you don't want, just press alpha, A. Okay, simultaneous equation. Now we have two variable, two unknown, two, positive one, you just have to key in one, one. Negative four, negative three, negative five, negative four, minus three y, negative three, negative five. Okay, so x is equal to negative one, y is equal to three. So if you want to use this calculator to help you to get the graph, you have to press, we want to generate a QR code first. So you will notice that the QR code here is printed in yellow color, right? Therefore, you need to press shift first and press QR. Now, what you need to do, just use your mobile phone to scan this QR code. And sometimes it's actually, I don't know why, sometimes it takes quite a long time, maybe because of my internet connection. It takes some time to generate the graph for you. Okay, just wait for it. Okay, then let's pause the video first. Okay, so these are the graph generated. Uh, so you can see, you can see, you can use your mouse to make it larger or smaller. So this is a value, x is equal to negative one, y is equal to three. This is the intersection point, this is the answer. The intersection point is the answer, uh, it's a value of x and y. x is equal to negative one, y is equal to three. So because it takes some time to generate this graph, if you want to use another way, so I will suggest you just go to Google, search for Desmos, and then click on this graphing calculator. Okay, just key in the equation here. Okay, let me just key in this equation here. Y is equal to negative two X plus one. Okay, this is a graph for Y is equal to negative two X plus one. And then the equation will be negative three Y is equal to four X minus five. Okay, so the intersection point is our answer. So how do we see the intersection point? Just click on this. You will get the X intercept and Y intercept and also the intersection point. If you want to look at the Y intercept here and X intercept here, you just click on it. This is Y intercept, this is X intercept, this is Y intercept, and this is the intersection point. This is our answer. The X is equal to negative three, Y, oh, sorry, X is equal to negative one, Y is equal to three. Okay, let me go back to our note. If you are still not really sure, how do we draw a graph? Okay, let me show you here. To draw a straight line graph, we just need two points. So any two points, totally up to you. You can set the value of X or set the value of Y. So make sure that when you set the value of X and Y, it's actually um, the value that you use will help you to get an integer instead of getting like one over three, one over five, which is a little bit hard for you to plot. So we like to use zero because zero is easier for us to calculate. If you don't want, you can use other value, it is okay. So if, I, if you set the X is equal to zero, so how do we get the Y? Copy this, negative two times X, which is equal to zero. You set this equal to zero. If you don't want, you can set it to others value. This is okay. Okay, now you get one point, zero, one. Zero, one, okay, which is over here, zero, one. And let's set another point. So you can use zero here, but this time if you, do, uh, if you use zero, maybe uh, you will get this. Let me show you. Y is equal to zero, what happened? Negative two X plus one. Bring over here, become two X is equal to one. X is equal to one over two. If you get one over two, still okay. But if you get one over three, like a two over three, like that, very hard. That will be very hard for you to plot, right? One over two, still okay. Means half, right? Okay, so the point is some is over here. 
Here is 1, 0, 1, 2, this is 1 over 2, and 0. So you, you can choose another value if you don't like fraction, right? Because fraction a little bit hard for us to plot. 1 or 2 is still okay. So you can choose, let's say you want to set the value of x this time, let it be 1. Okay, y is equal to negative 2 times x plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1, negative 1. 1, negative 1. This is 1. Oh, here. This is negative 1. Here is 1, right? Let me make it smaller so that you can see. Oh, let me make it bigger. Sorry, not smaller. Oops, this should be negative 1. 1, negative 1. Okay, so 1, negative 1. So if you have two points, then you just use your ruler to connect all the points together. And you will get a straight line. So same thing go for this. Uh, this one may be a little bit hard because it will, if you set the value incorrectly, you might, you will get a fraction. Okay, let me show you here, x and y. Let's say this time we do the same thing. You set the value of x to be 0, as I told just now, 0 is actually easier for us to calculate, right? Now, see what happens if I set this x equal to 0. Negative 3y is equal to 4x minus 5. Negative 3y is equal to, this is 0, right? Negative 5. So y is equal to negative 5 over negative 3. y is equal to 5 over 3. This will be hard for you to plot, right? So in this situation, 0 is not suitable. So let's try others number. How about let me try negative 1. This one you have to uh, take some guesses. Negative 1. Negative 3y is equal to 4 times negative 1 minus 5. So negative 3y is equal to min uh, minus 4, negative 4 negative 5. Okay, so this will give us negative 9. y is equal to negative 9 over negative 3. y is equal to 3. So we get an integer which is actually very easy for us to plot. Negative 1, 3 will be here, this point, negative 1, 3. So you can set another point. Let me set the value of x is equal to 2. Let's see, what's the value of y? Negative 3y is equal to 4x minus 5. Negative 3y is equal to 6. Oh, sorry, not 6. 4, 2 should be 8. Negative 3y is equal to 3. y is equal to 3 over negative 3. y is equal to negative 1. We get an integer, which is actually very easy for us to plot. 2, negative 1 will be here. 2, negative 1. Now we already got two points, just connect them together and look for the look for the intersection point. This will be the answer that we are looking for. Okay, so this is graphical method. Hopefully now you understand uh, better about the elimination method, substitution method, and also how do we draw a graph to help us to get the answer. This one we call it graphical method. Okay, now let's look at second equation. So this time mm, might be a little bit different. The same thing, I would suggest you to use your calculator to check the answer first. If you want to use your calculator to check the answer or to get the answer first, first thing you have to arrange nicely. 3x, and be careful, the value of x given by your calculator always refer to the first variable. So 3x minus 4y, 4y bring over here, it becomes negative 4y. is equal to not 6, but negative 6. So this one, arranged nicely. Since I put the x in front here, for the second equation, I need to do the same thing. Negative 2x bring over here, positive 2x. You don't see anything here, it means plus, positive. is equal to positive. You don't have to write positive, you just write 13. Now I have arranged all the terms nicely. I can start to use our calculator to check the answer. Okay, let me exit this mode and show again how do I enter this mode. 
press this and press just press one if you don't want you can you don't have to every time reset it uh, you don't have to every time using the reset function you can just go to using an arrow key go back to this you will notice this is one right so if you want to be faster you can just press one okay it's, it will just go back to the normal mode let me re-enter this simultaneous uh, linear equation mode again press menu okay use the arrow key or use alpha a okay now search for equation enter using the equal sign simultaneous equation press one how many unknown do we have we have two unknown press two okay three negative four negative six three negative four negative six make sure every terms is key in correctly two three thirteen two three 13 equal equal again now x is equal to 2 always remember x is refer to the first variable so in this situation no problem because our first variable is x second variable is y so x is equal to this x is equal to 2 let me write down first and y is equal to 3 okay now we know the answer x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3 now we can start doing our own calculation we should be able to get the same answer so this time uh, i will just show you one method i will be using elimination method first so let me rearrange this first equation nicely first so negative 4x oh sorry negative 4y plus 3x is equal to negative 6. bring this over here it become negative 4y don't see anything become it means that positive plus 3x is equal to negative 6. Let's uh, just let this one be the third equation. Okay, so the second equation, I don't have to do anything. Oh, sorry. I need to do some arrangement too. So let me uh, copy 3y. Bring the negative 2x over here. Plus 2x is equal to 13 okay this is a fourth equation now let me continue doing this hmm. next thing is i i have to plan i want to eliminate x or eliminate y it's totally up to you in this situation let me eliminate x if i want to eliminate x i have to look at the three and two they are different right so this might be a little bit hard so we have to think what is the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2? Means that 3 multiplied something will get us, uh, will bring us to that number, and 2 multiplied something will get that number too. So here I plan to change the 3 and 2 become 6. Therefore, I need to take 3, the third equation, times 2. Why do I times 2? Because I want to change this one become 6 every single term needs to multiply by 2 as well so this will uh, become negative 8 y 6x this negative 12 that is let it was uh, let this one be the fifth equation okay so now since i change this to 6 i want to change this to 6 as well so how do i change this to 6 i have to times 3 right so the fourth equation multiply by every single terms do the same thing this will be the, our sixth equation now this is plus 6x plus 6x what to do the sign to right the, if the sign is equal we use minus if the sign is different if this is positive positive negative negative we use minus if this is positive negative or negative positive we use plus if we don't want to remember this way it's okay you can just think how do i do all high uh, sorry how do i get the change that becomes zero minus right so i will be taking fifth equation minus sixth equation it's okay if you want to take six minus five negative eight minus nine you get negative 17 if you are not sure about how to do if you are 
maybe you worry that you will make mistake, you can actually use your calculator to help you. Let's see how, how do we use our calculator. Okay. Negative 8, press negative 8. But I will not uh, suggest you to truly uh, or fully depend on your calculator. If the number is not that big, try to get it mentally. Okay. Negative 8 is for this, all right? Minus positive, one, uh, positive 9. You don't have to write positive 9. You just key in 9. Okay. The answer is negative 17. So this will become 0x. This is what uh, we are looking for. We have successfully eliminated the variable x. How about this one? Negative 12. Okay, this time number becomes slightly, uh, slightly bigger. If you want to use your calculator, you just key in negative 12 minus 39. Negative 51. Okay, so y is equal to negative 51 divided by negative 17, which will give us 3. So once you get the answer, check with the answer that you got from your calculator. See whether correct or not. If it's not correct, you have to check again, maybe some mistake over here. Since our answer is correct, I'm going to proceed to get my second answer. Substitute y is equal to 3 into anyone. You can choose anyone which one you like, you think it's easier for you, just go for it. So here, let me use the first equation. 3x equal to 4y minus 6. 3x is equal to 12 minus 6. 3x is equal to 6. x is equal to 6 divided by 3. And x is equal to 2. Okay, our answer, both of our answers are correct. x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3. Okay, so this is a way how do we solve simultaneous dating equation. Okay, now let's go to another type of questions. This is also simultaneous dating equation, but this time will be harder. No equation are given to you. You need to really understand the situation and form the equation yourself. Personally, I think that the most critical part is forming the equation. If you form the wrong equation, you will get wrong answer. Now, let's go through this uh, question first. The total saving of Elsa and Vincent was 2,000. Elsa and Vincent each donated 104 and 105 of their saving. 104 of Elsa totem, uh, uh, Elsa money and 105 of Vincent uh, money, uh, they are saving. To an old folk home. The total amount donated by them was 440. What are the balances of Elsa and Vincent? Okay, so sometime after reading the questions for the first time, you might feel a little bit confusing, right? So let's write down the important information first. Okay, let me move this one. Okay, just let Elsa saving be RMX. Elsa, RMX. This is Elsa saving. We have to write, uh, write nicely so that it's easier for us to get the answer. We won't get confused. Which one is Elsa, which one is Vincent? Okay, let the Vincent saving be RMY. And Elsa donated one over four of her saving to this old folk home. How about Vincent? Vincent donated 1 over 5 of his saving to the old folk home. Now, we are trying to form two equations here. Let's look at this sentence. The total saving of Elsa and Vincent was 2000, right? 2000. So this is the saving for Elsa. This is the saving for Vincent. So we know x plus y is equal to 2000. Now, we have successfully formed the first equation by looking at this sentence. Now, the second sentence, we look at the second part. Elsa donated 1 over 4 of her money. It means 1 over 4 x, right? Winston donated 1 over 5 of his money. 
so it will be 1 over 5y and the total amount donated by them is 440 ringgit now we have successfully formed the second equation and you have to be more careful the question is not asking x and y the question is asking their balance now as i told you just now i would suggest you to use your calculator to check the answer first right because uh, after we get the first answer we can compare with the answer given by our calculator if it is not correct we don't proceed okay let me go for go to this equation simultaneous equation to unknown make sure i have arranged all the terms nicely one one two thousand one one two thousand okay one over four one over five four four oh one over four one over five and four four zero okay so after you key in all the terms make sure you double check and every single terms uh every single term is key in correctly okay x is equal to 800 and y is equal to one two zero zero let me write down the answer okay now we know the answers we know the value of x is equal to this and the value of y is equal to this now we can start our own calculation so it's totally up to you you want to use elimination method or substitution method so i'm going to use elimination method here so i have decided to use elimination method so the second thing is to determine which term or which variable you want to eliminate okay now i plan to use i, I plan to eliminate the y uh, x is that okay for us to eliminate the y yes it's totally up to you so since i want to eliminate x i want to change the, the coefficient here becomes same equal right so this is one over four this is one over four this is one i want to change this become one so what what should i do i time four so that i get rid of this four every single terms i have to time four so if you worry that uh mental calculation will make mistake you can just write clearer like this time four time four okay if you don't want to write this is okay so now you notice that it become x so you still have a fraction here but it is okay don't worry okay now this is the third equation so instead of looking this and this i would suggest you to copy this one again underneath this equation so that easier for us to continue okay so this is the first equation do you notice that now this is x this is x so we can eliminate the x easily so let me take the third equation minus the first equation if you don't want you want to take the first equation minus the second equation Ah, sorry first equation minus the third equation is totally fine 1x minus 1x 0x we have successfully eliminated the x okay you don't see anything here it means 1 1y positive 1y minus positive 4 over 5y okay so if you want to use your calculator to help you to calculate this press 1 minus positive 4 over 5 you don't have to press positive but if this is negative you need to key in negative 1 over 5 okay so this do the same thing 2000 minus 1760 24240 so y is equal to 240 times 5 times 5 100 oh, sorry what 1200 that let's check our answer with the answer that we got from our calculator okay correct so we can proceed substitute y equal to one two oh one two zero zero into 
which equation you want to use is totally up to you. Let me use the first equation. x plus y is equal to 2000. So x is equal to 2000 minus 102, ah, sorry, 1200. So let me write this again. 1200. So x is equal to 800. But be careful, don't stop here. Because the questions is asking, they are balances. So we still not yet get our final answer. Okay, so let me erase this one first. x is equal to 800, y is equal to 100, uh, 1200. Okay, now let's go back to these questions. What are their balances? Elsa, balance. So she donated one over four of her money out, right? This means that she left one, uh, three over four of her money, right? So one minus one over four times 800. So three, she left three over four of her initial saving. Just use the calculator or you can simplify this way. Divided by four, divided by four. Three times 200, you will get 600. This is Elsa, save, uh, Elsa balance. So how about Winston balance? He donated one over five of his money out. This means that he left four over five of his original saving. So this will be four over five times one, two, zero, zero. So you can just press your calculator. Four over five, oh, four over five times one, two, zero, zero. 960. These are the final answer. Okay, so let me show you one more example, but this time I will just form the equation for you. You need to continue doing yourself. The perimeter of a rectangle is 56 centimeters. When its length is reduced by 2 centimeters and its width is increased by 4 centimeters, a square is formed. What is the area of the rectangle? So be careful, the question is asking the area of the rectangle. Okay, so I would suggest you to simply draw a diagram to help you uh, to visualize the situation. Just simply draw a perimeter, uh, sorry, a rectangle. And then a square. They, uh, if they, are, they don't have to draw into scale, it's okay, just simply sketch a diagram. It's just only help us to plan how to do and uh, how to get the answer. So I just let the length be L, okay, and the width be W. The perimeters is 56. It means that this is L here must be L as well, L centimeter. This is W centimeter, here will be W centimeter as well. So from this sentence, we know that 2L if you don't want to write L, you can write X and Y is totally up to you. 2W is equal to 56. Okay, now you have the first equation. If you want to simplify, make the this equation become smaller number, you can divide all this term by 2. Okay, this is the first equation. When its length is reduced by 2 centimeters, it means that L minus 2. Okay, and it's width is increased by 4 centimeters, w plus 4. Okay, uh, a square is formed. Since this is a square, we know that 4 sides will have the same length. L minus 2 is equal to w plus 4. Now we have second equation. Okay, yeah. so I will, uh, so this one, you just rearrange it. Let me rearrange for you. 
L minus W is equal to 4 plus 2. L minus W is equal to 6. This is a second equation. Let me reduce this one for you. Divide this by 2. L plus W is equal to 28. Okay, now we have successfully formed two equations, then we should be able to get the answer easily. So I will only show you how do we get the answer by using calculator. You try to proceed yourself, see whether you can get the answer or not. We have two unknown. Since I already arranged nicely, so if you worry that you will key in wrongly, I will suggest you to copy this one underneath this, so it will be easier for you to see. One, always remember the value of x is always referred to the first unknown. One, negative one. Six. One, one, twenty-eight. One, one, twenty-eight. Equal. Okay, double check, make sure every single term is key in correctly. Press equal again. x is equal to 17. The x is always referred to the first variable. Therefore, l is equal to 17. Press equal again. Y. Y is always referred to the second variable. In this situation, will be w. W is equal to 11. But be careful, this is not our final answer yet because the question is asking area of the rectangle. So this is 17, this is 11. So the area will be 17 times 11. Okay, so the final answer will be 187 square centimeter. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you want to purchase this calculator online, but you worry that you will mispurchase a counterfeit product, you can just go to Shopee and purchase from Casio Office Store. Before this, I bought my calculator here as well. I already bought two calculators from this Casio Office Store. Both are authentic product. There are three colors available now. Black, blue, and pink. You can click on the link in the descriptions or just go to Shopee, search for Casio Office Store. In the search bar, just type Casio Office Store. Click on it. This is Casio Office Store. So if, if you purchase your calculator here, you don't have to worry about the authenticity of the product. Just click on it. You can type the model of the calculator that you want to purchase here or just go down here, click on Scientific Calculator. As I told you just now, for this model, there are three colors available now, black, blue, and pink. You will notice that there is another model of calculator which look very similar to FX570EX, which is FX991EX. These two calculators actually having the same functionality. What is the difference is, for FX991EX, this is two-way power calculator, means that you can use solar energy or battery. There are three colors available also for this model, black, blue, and pink. Let me show you some other differences between these two calculators. For FX570EX, this is one-way power. You only can use battery. The battery used is AAA battery. If you want to replace the battery, you need to take out six screw. One, two, three, four, five, six. For FX991EX, this is two-way power calculator. You can use solar energy or battery. If you want to change or replace the battery, you just need to take out one screw. The battery used in this calculator is button cell battery, LR44. Okay, that's all for this video. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.